Praxis Prepper. Everybody, this is Praxis, and I want to let you know that somebody did a video response to the video that I did just recently about uh, doing pantry stuff, you know, opening up big f uh, food bags, things of that nature. I was opening up some flour and oat bags, I think, in that video, and I mentioned that I didn't know how to do that magic thing where, like, there's a, kind of a string woven through the top, and I knew there was some way of kind of pulling it out, and it was very easy, but I didn't know how to do that. Well, Ontario Homestead uh, did a VR to that video and showed very easily in his video response how to do that. So if that's something you'd like to know how to do, here's a link to it. You can check out his video. He seems like a cool guy. I haven't really checked out a lot of his channel's content, but I have talked to him a lot through comments. Uh, he seems like a, you know, a cool level-headed guy, and he seems to work on a farm, uh, which is, or a homestead, I guess, Ontario homestead, uh, and, uh, you know, he seems to know a lot about that kind of stuff. That's a big difference, I think, between a lot of people who grew up with that and know those kind of skills, and people like myself who grew up, like, in a suburban environment, and all those kind of skills, those are new to us. Those are things that we have to learn, so it's great when people from all different walks of life can, instead of, like, just labeling each other and say, you're a this, you're a that, you know, actually come together and share skills share knowledge and, and make you know everybody better off by it so anyway if you want to be improved in your life in the ability to open up those kind of feedbacks very easily and he also mentioned one of the benefits is you if you're not cutting them you can reuse them very easily now in my video I was just using paper bags I reuse them as you know tinder for fire but you know oftentimes there's like a nice uh, you know a plastic kind of bag that you could reuse for lots of different things if you're not cutting it all up and everything so check out his video check out his channel Thank you, Ontario Homestead, for doing that. Uh, I, you know, I don't really have any other specific prepping thing, but I figured, you know, to share with you in this video, but I figured, you know, I'm in the library. This is a temporary library that I set up at uh, Normal House. And uh, I built it with the things I'm going to be using to build the, uh, the library at the next homestead I'm building. I calculated exactly how much shelving I would need. I bought that shelving and I kind of, you know, roughly put it up here and just using two by fours and got all the books here. It was really important for me to, uh, to get the books here to this new location as quickly as possible because I don't have all of my knowledge in my head. That should be obvious to everybody. Uh, and in a crisis, the internet wouldn't be available to me. So having a good paper library is, I think, a really important thing. Now, right next to me, next to my head, is these are just classics. Here's, this is an awesome copy of Dante's Divine Comedy, like illustrated with all those great line art. I can't find any more illustrations. Well, there's a lot of great illustrations in here. Isn't that, I found, this was like 25 cents at the thrift store. Um, so anyway, this is like my classic section next to me. But right up here is, you know, a lot of my homesteading, DIY, kind of survival skill stuff. Here's that great book that I've uh, mentioned on a lot of videos, Nuclear War Survival Skills by Crescent Kearney. Uh, it was really important for me to get all these things here to this homestead because if, well, this is not a homestead, this temporary location, uh, because if there ever was some kind of a crisis, I want to be able to have access to that information. I think that a good paper library is really super important because in a crisis, I'm not going to have access to the wonderful brain of Ontario Homestead because maybe the internet's not going to be available to me. So if you haven't started your own paper library, start one. Just go to the thrift store. I know books can be expensive if you buy them new, but you go to like a Salvation Army, a Goodwill, you can get several books for a dollar and start building your library. And not necessarily just these kind of survival books. It's great to just have, you know, classics, other kind of reading things, especially if you have, you know, family members that, you know, might just want to relax with something. If you know, I don't know what people watch on television. I haven't really had a television in years. <laughs> uh, you know, you, you work in television and, and you tend to be sour to it. But, uh, you know, all that kind of media might not be available. And it's great to have, you know, things like, let's see, what do I have here? Okay, this is a terrible example. James Joyce. I've never really understood James Joyce. I want to get it. I want to like it. But reading it, I just, whew, right over my head. I don't know, but maybe in like 40 years when I'm an old man, I'll like have enough experience and it'll mean something to me. So anyway, build up your library and you can have it if you ever are in a situation where you feel like you need it. And in the meantime, check out Ontario Homestead. Did I blab enough for this video? This could have been a quick video, but I wouldn't let it go. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh, I, I just, I was putting James Joyce back on and I, I figured I need to talk a little bit more. A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. This is actually kind of a prepping book. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. It's kind of a prepping book. It's by Mark Twain. Mark Twain. Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. That's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. 
Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.